Our daughter Paige was born on July 2nd, 2001, and she was diagnosed with Pfeiffer syndrome. We were really very frightened in the beginning. I really thought that we would lose her. We feel really blessed that the Children's Hospital was geared up for this, both as a medical team and just from an emotional and support standpoint, it really has been the right place to be. Paige feels really good about being a part of the face-to-face -face program is personal attention and personal validation. And she can share that with her friends and really feel good about herself and feel she's beautiful. Right, and Dr. Bartlett made her beautiful. I have to say that. He didn't just fix her. He, uh, he made her beautiful. I'm going to cry again. <laughs> I'm sorry. The medical professionals of the Children's Hospital of Philadelphia and the talented artists of Studio Incominati School for Contemporary Realist Art have partnered to create intimate portraits of children with craniofacial conditions. Isaiah Lewis is born June 19, 2004. Chichikala syndrome is a facial deformity. It can cause partial hair loss, partial vision loss, I have a family genetics of Chichikala syndrome. I grew up with the same condition that my son has. Teaching my son about it, he has to have a different attitude about growing up. So I'm trying to teach my son that, but you gotta stay up and positive and be who you are, Chichikalans or not. The psychological aspects of appearance are critically important. The initial beliefs from the 1950s and 1960s were that our appearance really didn't matter very much. And yet since that time, we've had this body of research that has told us that our appearance influences our daily lives in a countless number of ways. And we see this experience across the lifespan. When we first had Brittany, there was a lot of uncertainty. So I remember thinking, well, this is what I need to deal with. I, I need to step up. This is real. I guess that's when the reality sunk in that you're a mom, a wife, this is what needs to be done. Brittany is proof that inner beauty overrides everything else. The face-to-face -face project has been a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity. It's an experience that Brittany's gonna take with her for the rest of her life. This is how God made me. I like to write, you know. The angel in the pain, it's really about this little girl, I believe, that's in the woods, and there's an angel looking down on her. I actually do see myself as that little girl. The angel is always watching over me. The children felt that the artists were truly interested in them as a person. The idea that the world sees them as a person of value, I think, is very meaningful. Art can really play a healing role. The experience for all of us who have worked on the Face to Face project has been nothing short of inspiring. This project was designed to educate people about craniofacial conditions as we strive to communicate that just because someone looks different on the outside doesn't mean that inside they are a fundamentally different person. In reality, they share the same interests and goals and dreams as all of us.